Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I am going to tell you about string terminator and array. Here, I am typing geeky brain. And of course, we know that this is a string. Now, whenever C makes your program and compile it, what it actually do is, it needs to know where the end of the string is. And this is just for memory management. It's not really important, but what it actually do is, it adds a special character to the end of your string called a string terminator. Now, what this is, it's just a special symbol and we don't actually print this out or the user actually never sees it, but it is there just to tell C this is the end of the string. The reason I am mentioning this is because whenever you are doing stuff like calculating the length of the string or calculating how much memory you are going to have set aside to store a string, you need to include that as well. So in order to determine the length of the string, every single character and the white space counts. Here every single white space count as a character and you have to add that string terminator. So let's see how much memory we would need for this string. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, white space 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 plus one extra for string terminator so we need 12 bytes of memory now whenever you're creating something like this you are not creating a big chunk of memory what you're creating is an array now what's an array it's just a list of item of same data type you can have a list of integer like 8 9 10 11 you can have list of characters like a b c d e and what is a string it actually a character array we can do very cool stuff with an array now let me make a simple array program so every time you create an array we have to tell c what type of data you are going to use so care name I am storing here name square brackets we need to tell how many bytes of data it will store so, so now remember geeky brain with a space contain 11 characters and a space for string terminator so I am going to put 12 here here we created an array which stores 12 bytes of memory and then just like a variable equals to geeky brain Don't forget to put semicolon. Now printf my name is percent s name. Then if we run this, it says Geeky Brain. My name is Geeky Brain. 